So, Acts chapter 2 and verse 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Now, this comes after the famous Acts 2.38, where we're told to uh, repent and be baptized, washing away our sins, um, and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, right? And even so, here the Lord is adding to the church. And we know that the church is uh, the people. Like, as a Christian, I am a part of the church. Uh, now I have a local congregation in which I serve at. However, the church of Christ is... Um, is anyone and everyone across the entire world uh, that that are in accordance with his word and here he says added to the church daily such as should be saved now again you know we're talking about this word should should is not a definite word it's not like will uh, will means it's going to happen. Guarantee. Uh, should is not. Uh, should is knowing better and, and, and staying away or doing right. Um, but should means that it is possible um, that you might not uh, be saved. Now, uh, so let's... You know, even going on over into um, Acts chapter 3, verse 19, you see that um, here it's uh, through through repentance and, and baptism where it's looked as a, as a conversion, uh, not being saved even at this point, but rather a conversion. Uh, you're being converted uh, from uh, a life of unbelief to a life of belief. And, and belief uh, has obedience. Now, um, is it okay for us as Christians to consider ourselves to be saved? Of course it is. Um, however, true salvation hasn't yet came. Um, in Romans 8 and 24, we're told, for we are saved by hope. Uh, but hope that is seen is not hope. Uh, for what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Uh, so hope is, we're saved by hope. So uh, as a Christian, as someone who's turned over life to, to God and Christ, and we uh, pursue that life, you know, we are saved in accordance with our hope. Uh, and if hope was already received, then it wouldn't be hope. Um, so we're not actually uh, saved uh, while we're still alive here on this earth. Salvation doesn't come until uh, judgment. And we'll get there. Um, again, in... Uh, Galatians 5 and 5 for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith uh, so it's our faith that we have uh, hope of righteousness okay which is through uh, the blood of Christ the only way we can even come close to righteousness is by his blood Again, in Ephesians 4.4, 4, there is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Uh, you know, we as Christians have a hope uh, of salvation. Uh, Colossians 1 and 5, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, the hope laid up for you in heaven, uh, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Um, 
you know, and this is Colossians chapter one. If you back up just a couple of verses, you'll see that he's writing to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ. Okay, and it's a hope of heaven. Not that they've already received it. Uh, moving on forward, 1 Thessalonians chapter four, uh, 5, verse 8. But let us who are of the day. Uh, now, if you get some context with this, the day would be those who are in Christ. Night would be those uh, who love the evil things of the world. Uh, but let us who are of the day be sober, uh, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Again, you know, as Christians, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a hope of salvation. And, you know, by that hope of salvation, we can consider ourselves uh, to be saved. Uh, however, it, it's not, we're not truly saved. Uh, it's only through, uh, by our hope. Um... And I have in uh, First Peter in thirteen. Wherefore gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end. Hope to the end. That, that's the the end of our life. Hope to the end of the you know whether it be the end of our personal life or the end of the world. We have to hope to the end. Um. For the grace, hope to the end for the grace that is uh, is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is judgment, okay? Uh, that judgment that we we have to hold on to our hope to judgment, okay? And and let's not stop at the end of this verse. Let's let's read read on a little bit here. It says, "As obedient children." Okay, as obedient children, um, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. Um, we shouldn't be going back after um, the lusts that we had uh, for the world uh, prior to our uh, life with Christ. We have to hope to the end at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children. So, being added to the church does not guarantee our salvation. We have, we're given the hope of salvation at that point. And then, we are to be obedient children. Hope this has helped.